there have been major gains in the fight against malaria over the past decade. According to the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, global malaria deaths peaked in 2004 at slightly more than 1.8 million, before falling to around 1.2 million in 2010. Improved diagnostics and drug treatments are credited with helping more people survive. So is increased spraying for mosquitoes, as well as higher use of treated bed nets. But in the Mekong region, concentrated near the border between Cambodia and Thailand, a new and dangerous form of drug-resistant malaria is on the rise. Artemisinin resistance um, is actually a th global threat to our ability to, to effectively treat malaria. Artemisinin is used in combination with other drugs, and currently there's no alternative available with the same level of effectiveness. Resistance is occurring for a variety of reasons. These include patients getting fake drugs or poor quality real drugs that don't have enough of the active ingredient to kill the parasites, or receiving only one drug instead of the combination. Another is delayed access to treatment for vulnerable populations, including migrants who frequently cross borders. If in fact, artemisinin therapies are rendered ineffective, it'll not only slow us down, it'll bring us to our knees when it comes to trying to continue this fight and eventually eliminate malaria as a public health problem. The Global Fund, the leading donor to global malaria programs, has committed $100 million to addressing artemisinin resistance in the Mekong region and is encouraging a regional approach with countries working together to fight the problem. Mosquitoes move from border to border. They don't particularly care where we've drawn national border lines. And so we're trying to support countries uh, and their leadership uh, with the technical leadership of international organizations and, and important bilaterals like the United States and the United Kingdom to look at the latest epidemiology, to look where malaria is today. A major concern is about the potential for resistance to spread. The World Health Organization has released a plan to combat resistance. It emphasizes increased access to diagnostics and appropriate treatment, as well as an end to the use of artemisinin alone. It also calls for better monitoring to keep track of where the resistance is spreading. What happens in the Mekong is not going to necessarily only be important to the Mekong. It's going to be important to what happens for the world in the control of artemisinin-resistant malaria. We cannot afford to fail. Uh, if we fail, it'll undermine treatment in places like Africa. There's progress, but the fight is still in the early stages. The verdict is not in. We need to pay close attention in the coming years to whether there's adequate political will, adequate resources, uh, a really credible action plan, and follow through.